So earlier, uh, back in May, at the start of the summer, at least in my opinion, we decided to do a box office draft, and we decided to base it off of uh, the domestic box office and not worldwide. Honestly, it's been a few months, and I don't really know that why we decided on that. Not but what we we did not we did not decide that. We decided worldwide. I was it worldwide? Transformers because we could have worldwide. Gotcha. I had it backwards. Okay. Well, they still should be the worldwide number, uh, worldwide numbers uh, of our toys. I wouldn't have My bad. I Transformers if you it were makes a lot more sense domestic. now. Are you kidding me? It's, it makes a oh lot more God. sense now. Because I was thinking about it. I was like, why would we have done a domestic instead of worldwide? But yeah. Um, but we did have your brother Nick do the math for us because we don't do math, <laughs> don't, but he does. Don't lump me in with you. I did not. I did <laughs> not go to him. Check him out. Annie Essays. His channel is doing awesome. He makes yeah. great stuff on anime. Go check him out. He's great. Yeah. So I was able to squeak by Alex. It was pretty close, actually. I was able to get three billion six hundred twenty-nine million nine hundred twenty-two thousand six hundred fifty-six, while Alex was able to have three billion. Uh, eighty million eight hundred one thousand and eighty-seven dollars, million dollars, or billion dollars. How do? Yeah, how are we saying those big numbers? Um, I'm actually checking the math on my own right now. Sure, that's fair. Anyway, um, but re- what what movies did you have again? Let's remind everybody the movies we had. Yeah, I was just gonna. That's a good idea. I was just about to get <laughs> to that. Um. <laughs> So on my end, I was able to draft Guardians of the Galaxy 3, Mission Impossible, Barbie, The Flash, Little Mermaid, and in Alex's draft, he chose Oppenheimer, Fast X, Spider-Man, Transformers, and Indiana Jones. Um, and again, it, it was it turned out to be really close. I mean, the big winners of the summer were obviously Oppenheimer and Barbie, so I think just towards the tail end of the summer, it really was just a race between those two to see... Uh, how they would pan out. Although for both of them, they had their successes in their own right. That's for sure. So first it, of all, that was a lot of fun to witness. I just double checked the math. My brother was off by two million dollars. So oh, I had three billion. Unbelievable. <laughs> Eighty-two million. Okay, calm, calm down here. Maybe yeah, I need to our... check Kyle's. Maybe there's some favoritism going on around here. No, there would never. Well, now I'm definitely Not on my checking. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did me in, and in the best way possible, is Barbie. Barbie, isn't Barbie the highest grossing um, Warner, Bros. Movie. Warner Brothers movie ever? I think so, yeah. That's it, it, at least amazing. Amazing. Yeah, I thought I thought it surpassed Harry Potter. How about we check? I mean, I got Box Office Mojo up right now. I'll oh well, you got it, up it right then. Now. Let's you got see. It, then. it just became such a almost pop. Well, not almost. It was a pop culture moment. I mean, including on Oppenheimer's end too. Like, you don't see wow. that type of thing very often. That's for sure. Barbie is the number thirteenth highest grossing movie in history. In history. In a lifetime gross. This is domestic. Let's see worldwide. And Mattel thinks they're going to do that with Rock and Sock and Robots and Candyland. Get ready, folks. Barbie, <laughs> Barbie is 15th worldwide. That is incredible. It did pass Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, which is at 18. Wow. Everything above Barbie, let's see, Mar- Marvel, well, <laughs> let me rephrase, Disney, Disney, Paramount, Paramount, Disney, Disney, now Disney, 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 now Disney, now Disney, Disney, and now Disney. <laughs> all right, yep. Hey, don't mess with the mouse, okay? We've all we've all learned not to mess with the mouse. Except when it comes to paying your writers, yeah, pay paying your actors. It's ridiculous. We, we'll mess with them then. So what That's do allowed. you think, What what is the bit, your big takeaways of your... Uh, your win. I'm glad I didn't get crushed because if you go back to that video, I'm bragging like I was going to crush you. <laughs> so that, that part felt a little good, at least. <laughs> it was all in fun, but at the same time, I was like, ah, the win. Okay. Somebody's got to be entertaining around here. Yeah, it's definitely you that takes care of that. That's for sure. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I guess. It, I guess for me, I wonder if 
maybe audience well not maybe i i do think that audiences are really craving um originality when it comes to their movies i mean sure there was still some really good successes like you know guardians 3 little mermaid spider-man across the spider-verse but when it comes to barbie and oppenheimer again that's, that's just my big takeaway like it's from directors who in a time where like yeah. they don't exactly sell the movie themselves but with greta gerwig and Christopher Nolan, I think that was a big part of it on top of them just being movies that looked interesting, uh, but they were just on opposite ends of the spectrum in terms of like their genre, but the demographics were able to kind of cross at the same time for the most part. So not saying that every single weekend or every single release needs to have like a Barbenheimer effect necessarily, but I think that's just the learning lesson is that we are really craving for theatrical good experiences cinema. with you know that really good type of cinema like we don't need to see you know a transformers reboot again or we don't need to see uh maybe a new indiana jones reboot for instance because indiana jones 5 clearly didn't stick the landing so true you know and that's not the case all all the time i mean guardians 3 still did really well the remake of the little mermaid had its success even if there was like backlash controversy quote unquote whatever that garbage was a few months ago when that was going on but um i think that's just at the end of the day what this summer really took away was that we are really wanting to go out to the movies and have like the summer movie experience but the stories have to look good the filmmaking has to look interesting um and the talent can be a big part of it if we just remember how to market and advertise uh their strengths what is this math my brother's doing? He's off by three million on you. This it's a lot of zeros. <laughs> this is why yeah, I didn't I'm do the off. math. <laughs> Let's see the total difference here. That's what I'm curious about is how close it really was. Give me one second here. Entertain sure, man. I'll do a little dance, sing a little song. Entertain them. Um, Get down tonight. No, I got the number. Never mind. Oh, okay. You beat me by... $549 million. Almost $550 million. That's really close. You beat me. Yeah, that is pretty close. Uh, your biggest stinker was The Flash. The Flash bombed. Yeah, um, I was expecting... Well, I, I, I just was not expecting The Flash to bomb at all, but... Um... Yeah, boy, the, no one wanted to see that movie, that's for sure. I mean, Little Mermaid <laughs> and I don't blame did them. much better than it. Uh, did quite a bit better than it, but mm -hmm. the Flash just it just struggled, and it makes sense. The movie's not that great, uh, mm -hmm. but five hundred mil—that's pretty close. That's 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 one that's yeah. one Mission Impossible. That's one. Fa what's what's yeah. the problem is is that the worldwide oh. market apparently has given up on Transformers, and I say <laughs> poppycock. Get back to it. Transformers did not make as much money as it should have for me to win. Transformers is a billion-dollar business. Not I anymore. actually had a fun time with it. I liked it. I thought it was one of the better ones they've made in a while. Um, sure, it, it definitely wasn't aggressively offensive like the last ones were. That's for sure. At least I saw all the movies I picked. Uh, that's true. I did miss out on The Little Mermaid. Um, yeah. And the Mission Little Mermaid Impossible. was pretty good. Mission Impossible, I'm Mission really Impossible bummed out about. Mission Impossible didn't do as well as it should have. Yeah, it was just so close to Barbenheimer looking back on it. I really didn't think it would take that big of a hit, but it just clearly did. And they had to have so much of their budget go into, like, getting through COVID overseas that, you know, yeah. it, it just... There was just a lot of frustrations, I bet, behind the scenes, I mean, and they probably wanted Mission, a bigger, better outcome for it. Mission Impossible Fallout made almost $200 million more than Dead Reckoning. Yeah. Um, Dead Reckoning had a budget, too, of $291 million. Mm. and you don't keep, you always got to think another 100 mil, if not more, for marketing, so... Honestly, I'm looking at this going. Does Mission Impo is Mission Impossible considered a hit? It's, it's. I think it barely made money. That's tough, man. Yeah, it just That's a again bomber. Again, I think the scheduling was not in its favor. Uh, maybe it was like 
pushed up a week around 4th of July or maybe even or how about like, yeah how about this last month of doggy doo-doo this is what I don't get this mm. is what does annoy me and why I got so annoyed at ca- counting guardians I get the studios count early May as summer but mm. it is still hot as heck everybody is still doing summer activities all throughout August and the August movie scene is always lame DC tried with Blue Beetle, and it's a shame Blue Beetle didn't do better because it is Good better movie. than an average superhero movie. Um, yeah. But I like Mission Impossible. Why are you not running August? Why did you not come out against Blue Beetle, destroy it, and keep people in the theater? It just doesn't make sense to me. We're sitting here with nothing in mm. September. Like this, it still feels more like summer now than it did in May. So I, I just, I've never gotten it. I never will. And next year, I'm not letting Kyle count May. We're doing June. We're going every other year, baby. Every other year.